Hey guys, Nikolai here. Over a year ago, we took a look at whether or not League of Legends voice actors actually played the game. And we came to the conclusion that for the most part, no, they don't. But since making that video, I've actually wanted to touch more on the topic of League of Legends voice actors. Like the interesting voices Riot Games chose for the Japanese server. Whether or not new League of Legends voice actors play the game. And also, who is the voice actor for Rammus? Okay. We'll be taking a look at all that and more in this video. But before we dive into what you didn't know about the voice actors of League of Legends, let's first dive into Raid Shadow Legends, the sponsor of today's video. Raid is a turn-based RPG done right, and now I know you might have already heard about Raid before, but there's a great reason for that. Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on the Google Play Store, and was just recently nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019 User Choice Award. The game is immensely popular with almost 15 million downloads in the last six months. With over 400 champions to collect and customize, you can explore over a million champion builds, discover 13 spectacular locations, and enjoy a fully voiced story campaign, among so much more. The game has no shortage of content. Check out this cool roadmap that they've published. They actually have huge plans for updates coming to the game for over six months. Some extra cool features in the game, Raid adds 16 new champions to the game every month. Also, progression rewards allows you to get tons of free champions, equipment, and more just for learning to play. And once you complete all the missions, you will get one of the best legendary champions in the game, the Arbiter. I personally am not a big mobile gamer myself, but genuinely only after a couple minutes of playing the game, I was thinking, this is actually really good. If you want to add me and join my clan, my name is Nikolai Nikolai in the game. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on the special links, and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Getting started with our first subject, I need to get to the bottom of something. A question that I see thrown around often as a joke is, who's the voice actor for Ramis? Which can be a genuine question. But I've seen people say that Ramis' voice lines are so simple that some random Riot employee probably just went into a booth, said okay a few times, and that was it. I would even go as far as to say that people completely discredit Ramis. He doesn't only say okay. Sometimes he also says alright, yeah, or right. And you know, if you don't believe me, take a listen for yourself at the complete 13 electrifying voice lines for Ramis. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right. See? I told you. My boy can speak English. Although, by the way, I did listen to Ramis' voice in other languages, and I was a little uncomfortable by the okay from the French Ramis. Okay. What the fuck? Is that loud? But to answer our question, does Ramis have a voice actor? Yeah. And if their IMBD serves me right, his name is Duncan Watt. And he's not only the voice actor for Ramis, but he is also the voice of Blitzcrank. I think it's a safe bet to assume that all these voices were done in the same day, as Blitzcrank is also a man of few words. The Steam Golem has a total of 17 voice lines, excluding his laughing. Now, moving on, do the new League of Legends voice actors play the game? On the previous video, I researched a lot of the iconic champions, those who have been in the game for a long time now. So it could make more sense why they wouldn't play the game today. However, since the making of that video, Riot has released more or less 10 new champions. So do their voice actors play the game? I searched up, down, left, right, BA start, and although I was able to find most of the individual voice actors, none of them showed any signs of actively playing the game. Perhaps some of them secretly do, but from watching every available interview, searching through their social medias, etc., I couldn't find anything that pointed towards them actually playing the game. But again, this makes sense. I briefly mentioned this in my last video as well, but most busy people generally don't have time to play video games. And League isn't just a video game. Realistically, just to learn the game and feel like you finally got the hang of it can take a long time. And the voice actors selected to voice a champion in League of Legends 
aren't just regular dudes sitting in a coffee shop waiting for their big moment. A lot of them are iconic voices in their own rights with a lot of voice acting credits. Take the voice of Shyvana, for example, who is not only the voice of Shyvana, but she is also the voice of Elise, Zyra, Cassiopeia, the old Fiora, and most recently, Camille. Among voicing all of these champions, she has voiced literally dozens of major characters. I think at a certain point, it can get close to impossible to play every project you've ever worked on. And for what it's worth, although Kiana's voice actor may not play the game, she does however resemble her champion a fair bit. Now okay, for number 3, the different voices used in other regions. And this is important. In our previous video about voice actors in League of Legends, we took a little detour into uh, how Ari sounds on the Korean server. <laughs> but since then, I've discovered Korean Ari isn't on her own. The Russian voice lines of Vayne, specifically when she dies, sound like um, it's not coming from a video game. So once again, please lower your volume if you're not wearing headphones. This is Russian Vayne. Oh, and the Greek voice actress for Ari is also something special. Η χρησιμότητά τους εξαντλήθηκε. But actually, on the topic of voiceovers from other regions, for number two, the voice actors of Japan. In 2016, Riot Games brought League of Legends to Japan. With that, new voiceovers were created in the Japanese language, and Riot didn't hold back on spending when it came to hiring voice actors, as they were able to bring in some very iconic voices into the game. Teemo's Japanese voice actress is Otani Iku, who is the voice actress for Tony Tony Chopper from One Piece, and most of all, the voice of Pikachu since 1997. Wukong's Japanese voice actress is Nozawa Masako, which is the voice actress for Goku in the Japanese anime. This is especially interesting as Goku's character design takes inspiration from the real son Wukong from Chinese folklore. So a nice little attention to detail there by Riot. And now, just so we're not here all day, let's do some notable rapid fires. Annie's voice actress is also the voice of Al from Full Metal Alchemist, Lulu shares her voice with Tatsumaki from One Punch Man, and Darius's voice actor also plays All Might from My Hero Academia alongside being Mohammed Avdal in Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Mohammed Avdal! Yes! I am! But speaking of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, there are tons of JoJo voices in League of Legends. The most recent champion added to the game, Set, shares his Japanese voice with Dio from JoJo. Now to send off the video, I think it's fitting to talk about a question that often comes up when discussing voice acting. How much do League of Legends voice actors get paid? Well, for today's voice actors, we don't know. That information is meant to be entirely confidential. But there is this video from the voice actor of Corky who said he was actually paid a whole $300 for his voice lines. Okay, so my girlfriend's uncle is the voice of Corky in the league. So. Okay, I only remember a few of them, but. That's Lima Oscar Lima! <laughs> You've been spanked, Nugget! Um, <laughs> let's see, what else? Um, I got a bogey on my tail! <laughs> That's all I remember. And they gave you 300 bucks to do those voices? Yes, they did. And then they just sent you off that, your way? That was it? Yeah, you're heard by hundreds of thousands yeah, every it's, day. It's really cool. It's really cool. Corky, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Now, obviously, that doesn't sound like a lot. So to give some clarification, Corky was one of the first champions that the game released with. Meaning that this was before League of Legends was anything. And realistically, getting paid $300 only sounds like a small amount, because of the size of League today. But going into a one day job and making $300 from one recording is a pretty solid gig. But this makes me wonder, how much did they pay, Ramus? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. 